This is a video tutorial uh, about the Kami extension in your Chrome browser. Kami is uh, great for marking up PDFs. So if you use PDFs in your classroom and, and you have them as handouts typically for students, but now you want to incorporate them into, the, uh, into Google Classroom, Kami has been gracious enough to allow people who are doing distance learning um, a free trial until the end of April. So we're going to try this and, and I encourage you if you have these to use it with your students. So what I've done first of all is I've created a, an assign, a material for my students in my Google Classroom. And I didn't want to go through the hassle of um, recreating it here, but I'll just show you what I did. So in my Google Classroom, I created some material called a Kami extension, told them to click the below and add to Chrome. And I'll show you at the end of this video uh, what it looks like on the student side of things. And then at the bottom, I created a link to the Chrome extension to make it easy for students to find and then my topic is websites and links. So this is what happens if you create an assignment in Kami. So I click create, I cr click Kami assignment. So first of all, I guess what I want you to do is I want you to um, install the Kami uh, Google Chrome extension and it looks just like this up here. It has the, the little K. So you click on, I wanna create a Kami assignment and it will um, give you some options here and I'm just gonna call mine um, Friday Night Lights because that's the PDF I'm gonna use. And then down here, I'm going to, you choose your topic. And again, if you don't have one, you can um, schedule it later, change your point total. Um, I'm just gonna make a quick 25 points. Now I'm gonna attach mine from my computer. So I'm gonna go to my downloads. Um, in, in my downloads, I have the Friday Night Lights bullying PDF. I'm gonna choose open. And then here it is. And again, you have the same choices. Students can edit the file, so share one copy, or make a copy for each student. I recommend making a copy for each student. Please review the video and, and fill out the document. Okay, then we've got this. We've got our information. Um, I don't have a topic and what am I missing? To all students, oh, this is for digital literacy, um, and we are ready to go to assign it. So the assignment has been given out to all students. There we go, assignment created. We're gonna open in Classroom. So here is my document. So you can see here now that when I go to student work, I have all the information for, um, for my students and I can see exactly how they fill it out and I can interact in real time with the students as they are working on their documents. So I can click on it and I can see in real time how they're working on their presentation or on their Kami application. Um, if you want to see what Kami looks like here, here's our Kami, what the Kami extension looks like. I'm going to open a document from my computer and I'll just open the same one. And then over on the left hand side you have all these tools here. I'm going to trash all this because I was um, messing around a little bit earlier. And so here we go. So I've erased everything. So this is my document, the Friday Night Lights bullying document. And you have all these choices over on the side. So if I want to mark it up, Here's my highlighter tool, okay? There we go, I've got now it highlighted. I can leave a comment for students and I have multiple choices for comments. Um, maybe I wanna leave a voice comment right here. Great. I wanna allow the microphone and then I can just start to talk and it works and there's my comment. I can change the color of my comment if I want to, um, to be purple or whatever color and then I can move that comment somewhere else and the comment just stays on the side. Um, I can do a video comment if I want to do that with students. So here we go, I've got video and allow it to use your camera. Here we go, hey, leave a comment, doing a great job. And then I choose done. And there's my, there's my comment. Same thing, I can change the color on this. So now you can let students know, okay, purple is an audio comment, red is a video comment. I can insert text boxes. What is your role? You are a bystander. And you can change the color of your font there. You can insert some equations. So here's your, the different symbols that you can insert. And you can also search for symbols up here. So if you have um, music worksheets you're working on or you have math worksheets, 
You've got all kinds of different symbols that you can insert. I can do a drawing tool and you have different colors that you can pick from for drawing. And so I can draw, um, I can write words if I want to try to write words. Perfect there. Um, I can insert shapes. So you choose your shapes. Um, the shape can be transparent or it can be filled. I want to insert a circle right here. There's my circle. Perfect. Love it. Um, and then again, I have my eraser tool that I can do and I can insert images. I can insert images from my computer, from Google Drive, or just from Google Search. Super easy to do from Google Search. I'm gonna pick my account here, and I'm gonna search for superhero. Actually, um, I always find puppies are the safest thing to choose to search. So I'm just gonna do a search for puppies. Um, taking a little bit of time to load up. This looks great. Um, this one is absolutely adorable right here. So I'm gonna choose select and it drops in my picture. Click to drop, I can change the size of my picture and I can put it exactly wherever I need to put my picture. So that is how you um, work on documents directly in um, your Kami extension in Google Drive. Super easy, super simple, um, and now I'll show you how to do it from the student side. Okay, so this is a video from the student perspective. So when you get your students here, um, you'll have a couple of uh, assignments or some material. So for my students here, I created some material so that they could get the Kami extension installed in their browser. So for me, I just says, click the link below to access the Kami Chrome extension and add to Chrome. So I'll click on this button. It'll take them right to the web store. And then they should get the add to Chrome button at the top. We'll click add to Chrome, add extension, and let it do its thing. It'll download the extension and then the extension has been added. Okay, so I click on Kami, it takes me to the Kami website. And while this is working, I'm going to refresh my, my page, my Google Docs page so that I can maybe get some of that integration that I need to with Kami. And it's still thinking about it. So I'm gonna close this Kami extension here and close this tab. So the Kami extension has been installed. I'm gonna look at this first assignment that I've created just to show you what the example looks like. So I have given the students the assignment and I've created an assignment like in um, with docs or slides that each student gets a copy. So I click on that. At the top of your screen, students will see, see the open with Kami option. And we're gonna click open with Kami. From here, you want students to log in or sign up. And we're going to log in or sign up with Google. And that's going to be the first button at the top. So it started to do it for me. Some students may have to click it. It might do it for some students. Just uh, kind of be aware, maybe let them know each way. Click on their name. And they are going to allow the um, for Cami to access all of their Google stuff. We'll click on his name. We're signing in. Down at the bottom, we want to allow. All right, we are in. You have a couple of last things to do to complete your sign up. Click on the K through 12 school. And then you want to tell them that you are a student right here. I am a student. Pick your role. And then you can finish. You don't have to watch the video tutorial if you don't want the students to, but here, Boom, we are in our um, assignment for the kids to get working. So you've got all of your choices over on the side, which we kind of talked about. Um, so I want to add a text box and I can change my font on the fly. So we're going to say bystander. Don't know if that's right or not. We are going to add a quick little drawing tool. We'll draw a star. Um, and then I can put an image in from my search. Uh, puppy. So I'm going to show you after I get this a couple of things in here real quick. So I put the doc the picture in. Here we go. Now I'm going to show you what I can do from my teacher side because it works like I told you just like Google. So you can you'll be able to see um, we have some unsaved changes. So you'll want to allow the changes to save. This will happen periodically 
Students might not get the pop-up all the time. Um, it might just be a one-time thing that it wants to be able to save directly in the Cami app. And just go ahead and say yes. Just click through all the steps again. Looks like um, it would look like you're signing up again, but really what you're doing is you're just allowing Cami again to do this um, periodic save like it would do with a Google Doc or a Google Slide or a Google Sheet. So there's my periodic save. Now, what you're going to see here in just a second is you're going to see multiple users in this document. Okay, so I'm going to go to my teacher side of things, and I am going to join in and be able to work on this document with the student. So now in the bottom corner, we've got the student's name and we've got my name here. So you can see there are multiple people in this document. So I'm just going to leave a comment um, about the star. Your star needs work. Okay, boom. You can see then after I left the comment that the student's going to be able to get that comment immediately um, from my from my document. Um, so I am. Um, there we go. Your star needs work. Um, I'll leave another quick comment over here. They are not a bystander. And then the student immediately gets the information um, that they need right in the document and we are working collaboratively. So on the tab, um, when the students were in the document, you could see here that it had they had the turn in button. But when we open the document in Cami, we also get that same turn in button. So students don't have to keep going back and forth. They can literally just click the turn in button when they are all ready to go. That is how you use Cami. Uh, pretty easy, pretty straightforward to get students up and rolling and running. So if you have any handouts that you like to use with students that are already in a PDF form, this is one quick and easy way to do it.